How are you doing there, Josh? All right, mate. Good, Rusty, old mate. I'm all right. Uh, nice to see you. Cheers, now, Josh, you've got a fight on the second of February against Bobby Jenkinson. Yep. All right, for defending your British title. Yeah. Right, that's brilliant. Now let's just back up a little bit and go to how long have you been boxing, Josh? Since you were a kid? Yeah, my dad just took me to gym when I was eight years old. I've always done boxing uh, with my dad and stuff like that. Oh, he's always trained me. My dad uh, then he first took me to my gym when I was eight years old. My brother boxed uh, first, then uh, I followed him into it really. Then uh, me and my brothers boxed after me, so it's, it's like a family thing. So. And what uh, boxing gym do you box at in Barnsley then, Josh? Uh, Mickey's Athletic, which is his own gym yeah. uh, for my dad. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's called after my dad, Mickey's yeah. Athletic. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, isn't that? Because you were a decorated amateur, weren't you, back from when you first started up to. Yeah, yeah, I got to four national finals, all British Boys Clubs champion, I boxed Ringo at every level, mm -hmm. um, schoolboy cadet, junior. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, I, I turned pro 18, so I didn't, I didn't box Ringo and senior. Yeah. Um, that were, you know, if I could have stayed on and seen how far I could have gone with, with you know, with good balance. Yeah. Me, me and want to be a professional boxer, so I wanted to uh, turn pro 18. Who, who were you, who's the best guy you fought in amateurs then, Josh? Yeah, best guy, oh, I don't know, I, I fought a uh, lot of Yeah, I fought George Groves as amateur. George uh, Groves, yeah? yeah. Um, I'd have to look at my amateur guy, I fought, I fought a lot of good kids. Uh, yeah. so I, I first boxed ring going on 12, so I was uh, in and around that good level for, yeah. for my early age, so I boxed it all the way through, to be honest. I know who were your uh, mates and that, you know you have room mates and stuff yeah. like that, pal about with and all that, yeah. did you make any good mates? Yeah, yeah definitely, from from age to at, uh, 14 to 16 I used to uh, meet all with Luke Campbell, we used to go from Donny down to Crystal Palace and spend uh, from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, stop, yeah. stop down there training with England team, yeah. um, then we roamed together in Germany and stuff like that, so yeah, I'd probably say him, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's done alright for yourself. Yeah, he's done well, yeah, he's a lovely kid. Yeah, gold medal on that, didn't yeah. he? Do you remember your debut on that in pros then and uh, where it were at, Josh? Yeah, funny enough, you were at Donny Dove. Uh, Box Neil Reid on 13th of October, uh, 11 years ago. Um, yeah, it were, uh, I, I, did, I didn't think I did him inside a minute or just after a minute I put him down. Our, our youngest professional in the country at that, that, yeah, that time, remember, yeah, yeah. yeah, 18. So it's some good, you've got to enjoy me because um, some comes and goes, so you've got to enjoy it. Do you regret not staying in amateurs a bit longer, Josh? No. No, you, you, have, you were happy to turn pro as a teenager because that's not uh, the dumb thing. That they, now they like to keep no. them till like 24, don't they? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'm mature in, in a boxing yeah. sense at a yeah. uh, young age anyway. So You're I, happy with it. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to be a uh, professional boxer. Uh, obviously, some people want to do it more in amateur and go to Olympics and stuff mm. like that. That was never, that was never my dream. My always dream is to be British champion, British yeah. professional champion. So that, that's why I uh, went pro 18. So well, obviously when you were... And my style as well. Yeah. My style is more of a pro style. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. When you were turning pro on that, obviously it was a big decision for a young teenage lad. Did you talk everything through with your, with your dad and yeah. you know, your brother and that because he boxed, didn't he? And that's yeah. Like, no, to be honest, it was an easy transition. To be honest, because my my my, my brother were a pro, yeah. so uh, you know it, it were easy because I, I watched where where he went right and where he went where he went wrong. Uh, you know, obviously my dad looked after my career for for it all. So we sat down and talked to a few people. And pro, pro games a lot different to amateur. We were uh, obviously people are getting paid in professional yeah. boxing, so yeah, yeah. obviously it's it's different, but. Um, yeah, I, I've had, you know, it's been a it's been a long road, but I, I've enjoyed it. It's what it's all about. Pal. Yeah, because you've had no favours on your way up to obviously you're a British champion now and world yeah. rank, but getting to this stage in your career now, at age 29 yeah. as a champion, you've had nothing give you, have you? Have you? No, um, no, yeah. all through it all, I mean, uh, I, I won't change one thing to be honest. It, it's no. been hard. That's what we wanted, but yeah. the, the, we, we've took fights away from home all the time. Because uh, at the end of the day, you're a fighter. Yeah. People, you know. They can say what they want, but if they're going to offer me a fight, I'll turn for no fight with, any, with anybody. Mm -hmm. down. I, don't, I don't, I don't think you should deserve to call yourself a professional boxer if you do. So, um, mm. obviously, things have changed around in these last couple of years. We've, we've teamed up with Steffi Ball, and my dad and Steffi have, have, have guided me to, to where I am now. So, mm. you know, it, it is where you know you've got to with boxing. You've got to have a hard time to appreciate good times. Yeah. Um, you know, I've had, you know, I've had bad times. I've had a broken jaw. I've got 
three plates of my jaw. I've had knee injuries, I've had defeats, I've had bad decisions. I've yeah. covered every avenue you can imagine in boxing. Yeah. I've been over three weights. You know, all the, all this was going on while well, my dad's been really poorly as well. Who's yeah. my trainer, my, my best friend, and everything. And I've had to overcome that. So I'm, I'm happy. We got we we we. we Top of our mountain, we've we've done it. But that I mean, I want it to stop. You yeah, know, yeah, I've had yeah. a taste for it. And, yeah, uh, you want more now? Yeah, that's it, mate. I want to uh, make a good life for uh, for my family. Because your record, looking at it, I had a good look at it last night, and obviously I know you, I know your record, but I've had an in-depth look at it last night, and it doesn't tell the full picture. You know, you're 29, yeah. 25, 9 and two, but yeah. that doesn't tell the full story no. to anybody looking at your record. Yeah. They could really trip the sense up if they thought you were an easy, easy fight, because you might. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows what, what yeah. they get with me. I mean, it's um, you know, records. Are, it's that old saying: records are for DJs. Yeah. yeah. Because. Uh, End of the day, we feel like I mean, I box all them kids who have bought for world titles. Yeah, and, uh, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> all them uh, British Commonwealth European, guys. European, yeah, yeah, yeah. European world champions. You yeah. know. So now I'm now I'm uh, now I'm at my peak. It's uh, yeah. it's good to push on and see how far I can go, because mm. obviously now I've, I've got this. Uh, I've got my lifetime dream. And I want to see how far I can go. So yeah. that that's what we're doing now, Paul. Who's, who's been your hardest fight that you've had out of your fights, Josh? Because you, you've, you've been in some good fights. And yeah. Who's been your hardest one, would you think? Because you oh, fought Kid Galley, I just yeah. stepped up two weights to fight him, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, to be honest, my hardest fight would be Matthew Marsh. Matthew Marsh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we were not that time. Yeah, when I, not, well, when I was 20 years old, I went in with former undefeated British champion. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at a young age, mm. you know, fighting down in his own patch in Bethnal Green. You Oof. know, you know it's, it's one of them. And that's the mm. kind of thing that I've done, and uh, yeah. what a tremendous fate, and I took him to the wire, and that 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 were uh, you know that were uh, when I look back. To be honest, I, I mean, it's not been. I don't really, I don't really cast them. People say, oh, you've, you've got miles on top of me. I don't mm. think my fights have been that hard, to be honest. No, I agree with you uh, on that. I, agree. I, I don't think uh, I've had I've had a lot harder. Uh, I've all had a lot of spars, to be honest. And, uh, oh, my yeah. matches. Uh, that's the kind of kid I am. I don't I don't see it as really hard if you. If you're in a in a ring and it, and it gets hard, you just gotta go away, and that, that's where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean, man. I see what you mean. So you've won a British title, then you beat Jamie Wilson, yeah. and you defended it against Don Broder. So how many more uh, times do you need to defend your belt before you get to keep it out? Yeah, yeah that's the number two, obviously. Yeah, the yeah, next yeah. one, then the one after. Yeah. Uh, like you said, to, to to win it, then. To defend it, knocking Don Broder at Manchester yeah. Arena, big yeah. night when you were yeah, yeah. yeah. world, world yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know that was a uh, big night for me, and to, to do it in, in like I did it, eleven brown uh, against a you know a really good kid in Don Broder, who so a good amateur, Commonwealth yeah. Games gold medalist and uh, uh, Commonwealth uh, champion as a pro. Um, you know, and it were our, our finished. It were were, uh, were good for for me. Like I yeah. uh, were happy with that performance. I think, um, to be fair, if I, I do it in sparring, and, and, but if I hit anybody clean, my right hand or left hook, I hurt them, and that's, yeah. that's, that's what, you know, I've got that strength about me now. Mm. I've always had been strong, but with my punches now, I mm. think uh, if, I, if I hit them clean, they go like so. Yeah. Do you see yourself uh, stepping up in weight if you get a British title outright, uh, um, Josh? I don't know. I don't think you'll finish your career as a bantamweight. I, I don't know. To be honest, you can never see into the future. So I don't know. I, I'd like to see how, how far I can go as a as a bantamweight. Uh, then see what happens. But I don't, I, don't, I don't know. To be honest, obviously I've been up and down three three different ways before, but mm. now I've uh, established myself as British bantamweight champion. Yeah. I'd like to. Uh, push on in that weight division and see how far we can go with that. Yeah. Do you see a rematch with Gavin McDonald down the line? Yeah, but no, that'll probably never happen now because yeah. uh, obviously our relationship with Steffi and Gavin's yeah. relationship with Steffi and me and Gavin's uh, sound now, so yeah. that was just to uh, we've we had two fights with him, haven't you? Yeah, we've had two fights, yeah. We've uh, been two doing close cracking, fights. Yeah, yeah, it's been cracking face, but you hey, know, we now we're working with Steffi and uh, yeah. Gavin is also managed by um, Steffi, so that'll probably never happen there. Yeah, and what uh, what are your plans for Bobby Jenkinson? Because he's a former Commonwealth champion. Is uh, 
world world rank or European rank. It's not a mug, is it? No, it's not no, a mug. It's don't don't remark at this level. You no, know, no, you, no. it's uh, not a gimme fight. No, it? no, it's a uh, it's a good fight. You know, Steffi's done really well to get this over the line. Uh, you know, was the lot many out there wanted to take it. He had to uh, bend backwards to to try and make this match, and, and, he, and he's done it. Um, you know, this is this is what we're doing. I'm, I'm glad to be working with Dennis again. We've worked with uh, mm -hmm. Dennis before to, to yeah. push me on, and uh, it's credit to 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 Steffi. You know, he, he could have just put me on at Donny, but he wants me to go, you know, to a bigger audience on free mm -hmm. sport. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's how my career is going now. So yeah. we've got we've got to roll with and. Uh, you know, see where we go, pal, and I want to put a really good performance in. And I, like I said, I, I believe if I hit any bag to weight, when I find my range, it be in first round or last round, if I find my range, you know, that's what, that's what I've got to do. Yeah. Get, get into my groove early and uh, start letting my shots go. Yeah. And what have you got planned for the next 12 to 18 months, Josh? Because it's going to be crucial now, who you fight and timing and obviously you haven't had the best of luck have you but you've made your own luck towards yeah. the stage of your career you, yeah. know, you haven't always been dealt a good hand have no, you? No, that, but, uh, that, yeah. what's, your, what's plans for the next couple of years Josh would you, would you hope to? To be honest I, I'll just... we like, British out right? Yeah, yeah 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 like like I always do I'll just take one fight at a time all the thing I'm thinking about at minute is Bobby Jenkinson yeah. he's beating him then, then, yeah. then, then see what comes so many doors have opened since yeah, mm -hmm. since I won British title. I'm, yeah. I'm this 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 far off at a summer, some summer big, massive, yeah. yeah so yeah. you know it's it's all good, pal. And uh, yeah. it's what it's where I've worked all my career. I've lived life like a professional. You know, you don't see me in pubs going out all the time. You know, I've tried to be uh, conduct myself in right manner, come across right, be show sure respect to my opponents and. You know that that's yeah. the kind of kid yeah. I am. You don't but carry off at press conferences. No, no. But then when I get in the ring, I you know I try and uh, try. And, you know my style is all action. Yeah. And that's where it is. You don't have to be a, you know, you don't have to be carry on outside at ring and think, as soon as I get in the ring, that's when I switch it on. So your training is going all right then, yeah? Yeah, yeah. brilliant. No injuries. Pal. No, no injuries. No, we're, we're flying in gym. Yeah. Uh, we're doing all his all his work. You know. My dad and Steffi pushed me, pushed me hard, and uh, that's what I've got to do, pal. Yeah, you've been doing your circuits there, you've been... Yeah, yeah, circuits, what? sparring... Have you sparred, have you sparred this morning? No, I, I ain't sparring this morning, no. Uh, and, you know, that, that's that's what you got to do. The, these camps now, I've done so many of them. Mm -hmm. uh, just like second nature to Yeah, you know issue. what's next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, you just got to put graft in. There's no... You can't sugarcoat all, it's hard work. You know, everything's hard work, and you, that's what you got to do. You've got to run hard, you've got to train hard, you've got to spar hard, you've got to mm. go up bags hard, everything's hard, that, that, that's boxing. You know, anybody who thinks it's easy is just, mm. you're in the wrong game. Yeah. How many days a week do you do your running in that, Josh? How yeah, many? I run every every day, I have Saturday off. Yeah. Uh, I don't train Saturdays, I, yeah. I train every, every other day. Like. And how many sessions? Uh, yeah, I do two sessions a day. Two yeah. sessions in the morning and yeah, night. Yeah. Yeah. And do you feel that that works for you? Yeah, that? yeah, it's always worked for me. That's how, how we've always done it. Have you always done that from from when you turn turn pro? You've stuck to the same routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah uh, we either do us boxing in the morning, as running at night, or as vice versa. Mm. Whatever we've got planned for that day, and obviously if you've got sparring and stuff like that, you fit it all around. So yeah, yeah, that, that, that's what we do, Paul. Oh, that's brilliant. Have you got any heroes, Josh? You know, when you were a kid, you used to watch boxers on TV and that. Who were your, who were your heroes and that? No, yeah? no, 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 not so much really. Uh, when I obviously I used to watch my brother, like I, I wanted to be like uh, my brother were a national champion and amateur and stuff like that. So I wanted to, you know, be be like him, you know, like that when I was growing up and stuff like that. Uh, and I am really I like watching boxing. I, I study a lot of uh, boxing, but I won't, I won't really say I've got a thingy here or I've mm -hmm. uh, looked up to. I used to watch you know, a lot of Mike Tyson with my dad and stuff like that, uh, mm. but I won't, I won't say uh, I've, I've got really a, a boxing hero. No. No. And what uh, what what family have you got then, Josh? How, how many kids have you got? I know yeah. you've got a girlfriend. You got yeah um, yeah I've, kids, yeah, I've, it? yeah I've got a wife uh, Melissa. You're married got, yeah. Yeah married. yeah I'm married. Uh, my wife called Melissa. She have been married uh, five years, coming up six year. And I've got a lad, Mikey. Who's That's rare for this gym, isn't it? Somebody married. We've <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, got my, my oldest son, Mikey. He's four. He's four, yeah. Yeah. 
my, my youngest son Jack he's two yeah. my wife's pregnant again yeah, yeah. Absolutely. so is it a boy or a girl yeah but, yeah yeah it's a boy yeah You've got so three boys. yeah three boys oh, that's yeah my dad's got my dad's got seven grandsons as oh, well so he had three sons so it's a bit of a boy boy thing in our family so basically you yeah, yeah. You don't cause any problems at press conferences. Yeah. You're married with, with two yeah. kids in one way. You, <laughs> yeah. You're a clean cut kid, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. That's yeah. brilliant, because yeah. usually I'm dealing with people flipping <laughs> tables over there. Well, that's yeah. nice to get some clean yeah. cut. Yeah. The sponsors should be beating the doors down for you, shouldn't you? Yeah, I've got a good sponsor. Yeah, we, yeah, we sponsored all of yeah. so, yeah. Right. Well, that's brilliant. I uh, just want to finish off. Uh, I know your dad's not been yeah. very well, uh, but how have, have you coped with that? Because I know it's not a nice question to ask you. Really. Yeah, the, the, that, that will be. Has it affected you, mate? Yeah, it it, it, yeah, it's definitely. I mean, that was the baddest thing that's ever happened to me yeah. in my life. You know, yeah. 13 years ago when my dad got diagnosed with that. Mm. Um, you know, it, for me, my mum, my brothers, uh, and, and for everybody in the family, we're yeah. running out of time. Uh, obviously, now nah, um, I've got my own lads. Uh, you know, my my dad's to, to to my kids is there, you know, yeah. as well. It's it's mm -hmm. a big thing, us. Uh, you know, my dad's my best mate. Everybody said, oh, I'm out with my dad, and I, my dad was my best man at my wedding. Called my son after him. You know, it, it were a big thing, and yeah. uh, you know, when that when that happened to us, it it you know, it was really bad time to get over. Yeah. Especially uh, with me boxing, because you know. Mm -hmm. You know, he's my trainer, my coach, and then that happened, you know, it weren't out of time. Mm. Um, and then we had to mix things up with yeah, training yeah. and that. Yeah, we, we, had, we had can't do all. Do all, do all, 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 all I mean, we're, we're lucky where he is now because, I mean, he's been in a wheelchair before and he's, 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 been, he's been bed bound for, for a long period yeah, of time, do you yeah. know what I mean? So we, we, we're grateful for, for he's a fate of my dad. He's like, yeah. he's like I am in ring, you know, he keeps fighting it. And, that's, that's what they do. They, they, you know, they, they all, he's had seven operations, radiotherapy. He's had everything, you know, to to, yeah. to thingy, and um, mm. you know they're like getting so he's fifty to live, so he's fifty five now. So mm. he's already won his fight. He's a tougher kid than you, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's the one person I'd say were tougher than me. I'd, I'd say my dad, yeah. Okay. Well, that's brilliant. And well, listen, it's been great speaking to you, Josh. All the best yeah. on February the second at you. Sheffield at Ponds Ford. Yeah. Everybody, get down there. Yeah, and definitely. get them last 40 quid tickets because all yeah. tables are gone. Yeah, yeah, I've got and, uh, fantastic for support. Uh, mm. That's why we're a thank as well. Uh, well, I've got a chance to do it because you yeah. know, I've, had, yeah. I've had some people who've been watching me 11 years. I've mm. had some people who are seeing how well I'm doing now, then coming yeah. in as well. Whatever support, it, it's all, uh, you know. Your sponsors all they? Yeah, we have sponsors JP Fabrication, Danny. Yeah. He's a, he's a friend of mine, um, he, he helps me uh, with, with my sponsorship, he sees what everything I, I go through and stuff like that, so he's a, lo he's a local company you know, from Brampton where I'm from, uh, and he helps me with stuff like that, and uh, yeah, just just thanks to them and thanks to all my fans for, mm. for everything that they right. do. Well, all the best to you and to Bobby Jenkins on that, and may nobody get hurt and everybody be, you know, make best man win. Yeah, cheers, and, Ross, uh, thank all you. All the best. Thanks, man. Thank you.